Welcome back to Lost Odyssey. In the last episode, we made our way here to Ubra. We went through a few areas, and we eventually made it our way here to the uh, what is this place? The Central Monorail place. Where's the up in the menu? There we go. Yeah, the Central Stations where we're at. All right. So let's look around here. Because there's some stuff we can kick around here, I'm pretty sure. Well, we're also going to talk to all the NPCs as well. Thank you for running the monorail today. We hope to see you again. Hey, did you hear? Everyone who went to the highlands of Wall was annihilated. Yeah. Climb was there, bro. I guess we're both lucky to be alive by not going t to the battle. But all of them dead. It's just terrible. Yep, there's something we can kick right here. Just like Roddy out of stories. Cold water stone. Now we can make aqua rings if we get enough of those. Wait. I'm going to go to item. A smooth cold aqua colored stone. The monorail is not in operation at this time. If you have a question, go ask the station crew. I'm just here on patrol. You can see the council hall over there across the monorail as the nerve center of Ura's government. Okay. Sometimes people have multiple things to say, so that's why I talk to some people twice. The monorail is not in, in operation at this time. I think I got everything around here. So we could talk to those soldiers and be done. Maybe just double check though. Yeah, we got everything. All right, cool. Please get on the lift. We must hurry to the council hall. Get on the lift, Lieutenant Argonar. The council's waiting for you. Yeah, 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 bro. Whatever. We don't have time to waste here. Once we're out of the station, please follow me straight to the council. Must get moving, Lieutenant Argonar. It is quite a long way to the council hall. No more wasting time. Get moving. The other one walking around. I could run to the council hall if I wanted to. You don't need anything in the station, do you? And let's hurry up. A meteor fell in the highlands of Wool. A meteor. How insane is that? What happens if another one falls here? <laughs> well, you'd be dead. You better just hope that doesn't happen. Well, not everybody would die. For obvious reasons. Oh, yeah. Speaking of the saving here, um... It's cut my save files from when I used to play this on 360, which is insane. Because I haven't played, like this save file here, this was my 360 save file. Um, like all these are my 360 save file. Which is kind of insane, how it kept my save files from when I played on 360, because I've... The last time I played 360 was 2015. So we're talking nine years ago and my save files are still there. I guess because they were saved on the cloud, I guess. I don't know who it is. 
but someone keeps throwing trash into the vase. It'd be nice if there were, were someone else who could pick it up too. Yeah, we can by kicking it. But they can feel free to keep dropping trash. I'll keep picking it up. Or I guess in this case, kicking it up, I guess. Welcome. This is where you go if you need directions or have any questions about how to use the monorail system. We also handle PA system announcements, monorail status reports, and lost and found services here. Let me know if you need anything. I believe we just had someone inquire about this earlier. The ring was a gift from the owner's fiance. He was a young soldier and he was quite distraught. I'm sure this will make him very happy. I was asked to present a certain item to whoever brought the ring, so please take this. Cure all. Let's check that out. A miracle medicine that recovers one party member from any status element, so it's like a remedy. Uh, and then we got antidote, I think in the last episode I didn't read it. Poison neutralizing medicine covers one party member from poison, obviously. Thank you for using the monitor. I'll be happy to help you with any problems or questions you may have. You gotta kick that one twice. I can't believe how laid back the civilians are. We're at war here. Why should they not be laid back? You're the soldier, bro. They're not soldiers. We're at war. So I understand why the soldiers here are all so tense. But I'm starting to dislike the atmosphere in the station now. You want to ride the monorail, go up to the second floor, assuming the monorail is even working, that is. It's a doggo. <laughs> Ever since the magic industrial revolution, Elra's undergone tremendous growth. Medic sure is a force to be reckoned with, yeah? <laughs> well, see how powerful magic is later in the game. And we've already seen it. Of course, the people are benefiting from the magic industrial revolution, though there are still some who fear this power that they don't understand. Oh, don't whimper, dog. Meteor fell on the highland. Okay, yep. Alright, we're done here. You don't need anything in the station, do you? Then let's hurry up. No more wasting time. Get moving. Y'all are just standing here and tell me to get moving. Let's get on Main Street. The Council Hall is getting close. Down on Main Street. It's only a short walk to the Council Hall. Once we get to the Main Street, let's move. This is the boarding area for magic taxis. Unfortunately, it is out of service at this time due to orders from above. The only thing I miss about playing this on emulator is um, I had uh, I could do three times speed. So I do kind of miss that, but other than that, I'm happy to be playing this version of the game because. I don't have to worry about anything going bad, you know. Like, more than likely, I'm not going to lose my save file, you know. Because I still have my old save file from 2015, you know. The monorail is free because it's wartime. But those guards on watch freak me out a little. Everyone used the monorail before, of course. But now they don't really feel like using it. The soldiers watching, yeah. Soldiers are pretty weird. All the soldiers have been acting so hostile lately. 
they could at least loosen up a little while they're shopping. Well, I c you can't really blame a soldier for being like, you know, like tense or whatever. You know, like on edge. Considering they risk their lives to keep people safe, you know. The battle at the Highlands of Wool took a nasty turn. All the soldiers in the city are on edge and stern looking. Like, I have mass, I have huge respect for anybody in the military. Like, automatically. They automatically earn my respect. And I come from a family that's was military. So, even more respect. I had to walk everywhere when I was young. What would happen to the youth of today? The magic was taken away. Eh? It's hard for regular folks to take the monorail nowadays. Most people take magic taxis. Yeah, my dad was in the army. So, I've always respected the military. Angel's Plum. This war has cut drastically into our clientele. Hopefully we'll have our old bustling city back before long. The war will undoubtedly end after such a horrible tragedy. The council has apparently com convened for emergency talks. Alright, what seed is that now? Seed number four. <laughs> hey there, what do you think? Isn't she a beauty? A real car running on a magic engine. I guess that's kind of cool. If it didn't have the magic engine though, it wouldn't be that cool. It's just like a wagon basically at that point. I was just at the station, but the monorail and taxis are all stopped. I'm not supposed to get to the great g gate. Just wait. Wait until they open, obviously. Wind seal leaf. A yellow leaf with a gentle wind blowing across its surface. And that unlocks the wind ring, which inflicts wind damage. So if you have a... If Probably gonna be weak to wind. That'll help out. It's only a short walk to the council hall. Once we get to the main street, let's move. <laughs> let's get on main street. The council hall is getting close. Yeah, but I like to take my time, bro. City of Ura. Well done! You may leave. Huh? Lieutenant Kaya Marganar, we thank you for a job well done. I am Roxiel, chairman of the Central Council of Ura. Well, Lieutenant, it seems people are calling you the Immortal. We've heard there were almost no survivors from Ura or Kent after the meteor crashed on the highlands. And yet, you appear to be unharmed even though you were presumably at the precise point of impact. Tell me, how did you survive? I don't know. My lord, please allow me to explain. Fine. St Thank you, my lord. Actually, this man is immortal thanks to my magic energy. He is under a spell of immortality that I conjured. 
Yep, that is right. So that's why I didn't want to say anything earlier because they were going to say it eventually. Um, so I haven't really, I didn't want to spoil, but yeah, Kaim is an immortal. Now, what that means in battle is if an immortal character dies in combat, they will come back after, I think, I think it's either one or two rounds. They'll get automatically uh, brought back to life. Um, it's kind of like a, if you played the Final Fantasy games, it's kind of like a auto life, I guess you could say, but not as good as auto life because they don't automatically come back. They, it's delayed, you know, and they did it that way. So you can actually get a game over and everything. Obviously, if they die and they immediately come back, you could never, you'll never get a game over, right? So they had to make it where they come back after a certain amount of rounds. And I think it's, I think it's two, if I'm not mistaken. It's either one or two rounds they come back. I'm pretty sure, anyway. Or maybe it's, maybe it's even three. I, I don't, I don't really know. I don't. I'll be honest, I didn't really have my characters die too much in this game when I played before. So I don't really remember how many turns it is. Because when I did my walkthrough, I don't think I lost a single character. Um, I think I was, I think I kept my characters alive pretty much the whole time. Um, but yeah, that's just the benefit of being immortal. They'll just, they'll just come back to life basically. After a certain amount of time. Um, and we'll learn more about Kaim's struggles as being an immortal. Because you can imagine being an immortal will have, have its drawbacks, you know. And they'll, they'll go over that in this game. And they're called dreams. A uh, thou thousand... Years of dreams or something like that. We'll get that later on. Let's go and continue here. Hmm. I wish to know more. This immortality spell. How does it work? I don't know. What? Are you saying that you don't know about the spell cast on you? I don't remember. I recall nothing. My lord, uh, this man has lost his memory. However, he is skilled in magic energy, so I have been studying his abilities. Then what can you tell us, Gongora? With all due respect, my lord, the spell is a curse. It is said that merely hearing it brings death near. For the safety of everyone, it is better that the spell be kept secret. Hmm. Very well. Since I trust your studied opinion, I shall take your word that we should not know the spell. Death is determined by fate, and one cannot fight it. Lieutenant, since it seems that you cannot be killed, the Council would like to bestow a special mission on you. We want you to go to Grandstaff. My lord. Gongora, you cannot keep this hidden any longer. Till now, construction has been left up to you, but we've lost contact with the site. It's just that... Uh... Gongora! Until we can confirm that Grand Staff Project is safe, construction shall be suspended. Yes, my lord. So now, Lieutenant Argonar. You know of Grand Staff, under construction in the Sea of Bas? I've heard that it's a magic staff. Yes, it is. As you just heard, all communications with the site have been cut off for some time now. Considering the danger from magic energy leaks, we suspect that no one can investigate the possible cause, except someone immortal. Well, there is someone else. What did you say? At the Wall Highlands. Another immortal. Her name is Balmor. Hmm? Well then. This other one shall accompany you. I shall summon her. Quickly, make the arrangements. Right away, my lord. My lord, pardon me for saying this, but I'm building Grand Staff for the sake of our nation and its people. 
Enough! We will await Kaim's return and report. Of course, my lord. You are dismissed, Lieutenant. Thank you for coming, Lieutenant Argonar. I have word from Chairman Roxian that you are off duty until further official orders from the Council. There's a fine inn just along the street for you to stay and wait for your orders. We've already arranged for the Council to contact you there. Check the location of inns and shops, the navigation map, the top right corner of the screen. You can also zoom now by pressing the back button. Yep, see? And they're marked on the, the ends and stuff are marked on the map, as you can tell. Alton Argonar, you look pale. Are you staying over at the inn? The chairman wanted you to be fully rested. No one is allowed in here without an official summons from the council. Thank you for your cooperation. Uh, Highlands will wipe out by a meteor. Was it magic energy? Could be. Council Chairman Roxian is one sharp man. He's been holding the reins ever since our uh, Chimera Republic 12 years ago. It's been a while since we changed from a monarchy to a republic, and I think it's made a big difference. Things are easier now. I was concerned when King Zypha stepped down during the Magic Industrial Revolution, but things have been going rather well since then. I'll be honest with you viewers, I don't really know a whole lot about politics and shit. I don't usually keep up with that garbage. I feel like it creates a lot of infighting between the two wings and all that and just or creates a lot of fighting between the wings and I think we should all just be united whatever but then again on the, the contrary to that is it would kind of suck if everybody had the same opinions be kind of boring. It's good when people have contrary opinions. I like to hear everybody's opinions and stuff. The street is closed. Use the other street over there. Yeah, we won't be able to go down this way until much later on. Make sure there's no like hidden items or anything. Hey, can I tell you a secret? There wasn't any magic when my grandpa was a kid. We got a wind seal leaf, number two. Get one more of those and we'll be able to make that ring. The Magic Dust Revolution is really something. We lived completely different lives before it came along. Magic Dust Revolution has made life easier, sure. But it's also had a massive impact, massive effect on nature. Yeah, so that's a pretty generic, like, trope in, maybe we get a second magma fragment in, like, JRPGs. Like, there'll be, like, a power, like, 
for instance, Final Fantasy VII with the Mako, like, it create, generates power, you know, in this game, it's magic, right? But then there's a drawback to using magic, and, th and then in Final Fantasy VII, there's a drawback to using Mako, like, it destroys the planet. And it's other instances I can't think of off the top of my head in other games. Searching for my husband. He belongs to 98th Armored Magic Troopers Division. I had heard his unit was sent into battle with uh, Kent. I'm still hopeful, but uh, he probably didn't make it. Searching for my husband who belongs. Okay. Hope he is okay. Lorcan Gur is a member of the council, also an expert in magic energy. No one can match him on the subject or in its use. <laughs> Gur is also of common birth. He's an inspiration to us all. <laughs> well, <laughs> we'll see how that goes. If you played this game, you already know. And then we get seed number five. Okay. Talk to this guy wa ra walking back here. Councilman Gangora is the greatest wizard in all of Ura. They say his political enemies fear to move against him because of the power he wields. Everyone was scared of magic power in the beginning. Look at all the things it has done. Turning wild animals into monsters is the least of it. As you can read, it's frightening stuff, but it's also very powerful. The movement responsible for the research into applied magic is what created Magic Industrial Revolution. They say magic energy brought about the tragedy on the highlands. That really worries me. Yeah, it could have been. Weak magic has existed naturally for a long time, but it's only been 30 years since strong magic energy appeared. The Sea of Boss has always been dangerous, but now it is infested with monsters thanks to the increase in magic energy. Regular folks can't go anywhere near the Sea of Boss. All that's left there now is a military facility. Magic has drastically altered the ecosystem. Docile beasts turn into raging monsters practically overnight. Show up everywhere. Better keep an eye on the mountains and the rest of the wilderness. Shut up, dog. You gonna bite me? Just say you don't want to do that, dog. Those council types only say things that make them look good. Listen to the talk in a few of the bars and you'll quickly find out the truth behind the scene. Yeah. That's why like I said I don't deal with politics and shit. Like, it's a lot of corruption and shit. Um, can't get down with that. You can't expect human beings to not, not be corrupt, you know? I think 
if people were in their position of power, they'd probably be corrupt too. Not everybody, obviously. That would be crazy to say everybody, but some people are just like that. The can't attack has been repelled by our forces, but our forces have been devastated. It's going to happen to us. So if you want to know where I stand, I stand in the middle. Can I take your order? Or perhaps I can convince you to treat me to something. Like I refuse to pick a side. You look like you've been slapped in the face. A man is much more desirable when he's confident and in control, you know. That's what women will tell you. But then if you exert too much control, then they don't like it. There have always been rumors that King Zypha was assassinated. If that's true, then my money is on Chairman Roxian. That's a bold statement, bro. The little council is pretty suspicious. They're nothing but a bunch of parasites feeding off the people. Yeah, so even Hironobu Sakaguchi's making his NPCs like uh, say they hate the like political stuff, hate the council people. Just between me and you, I think Agora is the one who killed King Zypha. Legados Revolution is the proof. Agora's benefited the most from the revolution. He's used the magic industry to take over the country. The council is telling us we have won the war, but can it really be called a victory at the cost of this many lives? My son-in-law went to the Highlands of Wool. We don't know what's happened to him. My grandchildren are all still so little. I don't know the point in doing this, but something you could do. I'll place a different note whenever you hit a different, whenever you're at a different spot. The war is over, but this hard time continues. Bah. How about I drink to help you forget for a while? I'll be honest with you viewers, I don't drink. Never have. I've tried alcohol and I've tried drugs before. I've tried cigarettes before. None of them did anything for me. I've even tried hardcore drugs before, but uh, just not something I'd ever, you know, get addicted to. People probably say I'm addicted to video games, but I don't actually play as much as people would think I do. Like, I maybe get like, on average, if I had to say my average, it'd probably be about four hours a day. And that's only recently. When I had a girlfriend back in 2021, I barely even played like two hours a day. And I've went days about when I didn't have like, uh, when, well, when I had, when I lost internet, I played a lot. Obviously, I played a lot of games because that's all I could do because I didn't have internet. But a lot of times what I do is I play, I watch a lot of YouTube videos more than anything. I watch too much YouTube. You could say, you could say I'm addicted to YouTube. And I would agree with you on that. I love making YouTube videos. I love watching YouTube videos. That's what I spend all my time doing. Because Beastly Kent must have attacked Ura, take over our magic industry. And that, do, that doesn't mean just recording because I got to, 
you know, I got to edit videos, I got to render them and all that stuff. You know, it's, it's not just recording them, you know. So it's technology and their filthy paws, they could elevate themselves from the barbarians they currently are. Apparently, Goatza uh, in the north is pulling the strings behind the Kent attack. I guess eventually they'll attack Ura directly. This is just what I heard. But they say that Kent is being manipulated by Goatza. That's how they keep their hands clean, you see, by using the Kents. So you're the immortal who survived the Highlands of. <gasps> Oh, incident, are you even human? I don't really know of any games where the characters are immortal. I think that's kind of awesome and a nice concept. You know, something that hasn't really been done before, you know. There might have been other games, but I I don't know of any off the top of my head. Um, was there a save point back here? No, there wasn't. Oh, yeah, there is. Right here. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this playthrough. I've been enjoying this playthrough a lot, and it's finally my time to beat it, this game. As I've said in Episode 1 and 2, it's been my first time beating the game after three failed attempts. But not because of my skill or anything, it's because of unforeseen circumstances. If you want to know the unforeseen circumstances, check episode 1 and watch the beginning of it. I'm not going to go into details about it in this video. But I'm going to be mentioning this in, at the end of every episode because it's very crucial um, to let you guys know about it. Because... Some people think like I don't like this game because I haven't beat it after three times playing it. But uh, it's only because of stupid circumstances that I wasn't able to beat it. I love this game with a passion. Like this is one of the best JRPGs ever made. And it reminds me of Final Fantasy IX in a lot of ways. And that's part of the reasons why I love it so much. Yeah, thanks for watching later. Or thank you so much for watching later is what I should have said.